I don't think we've heard about uh, purpose-driven brands more than we've heard, say, in the last uh, couple of years. Uh, but a lot of examples, when, when, for example, when COVID hit two years ago, I mean, you suddenly saw a lot of backlash around brands who were taking decisions that were completely uh, against the purpose that they had espoused in the past. So clearly, I guess, uh, the defining the why of a brand uh, up front ends up helping you to, uh, drive the steps that you should take towards achieving the aspiration of the brand. Now, talking about with your, with your question about the role of the CEO or the role of the board, my, my, my sense is that in, I mean, unlike the situation was possibly a few decades ago, I don't think it's unusual in today's day and age where companies across sectors and re regions uh, don't just have a well-defined brand aspiration, they're actually taking steps to articulate what their larger purpose to the society is, what's their larger commitment to ESG. The ESG is not fashionable anymore. It's become an integral part of how clients look at you. It's become an integral part of how investors look at you. And therefore, you're seeing more and more companies coming out and sign the ESG pledges that are, that, that, that are out there. More and more companies outlining their goals. More and more companies defining where they are vis-a-vis -vis the 2050 commitments uh, that the world has made towards sustainability. So clearly, the elements of larger purpose towards realizing the brand ambitions is no more a matter of choice. It's frankly a matter of survival.